Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft 1 tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be creating our GUI and after today we should have a working furnace. So let's get started. We're going to create the GUI class, GUI Sintering Furnace, and it's going to extend GUI container. We're going to have a few variables. Firstly, private static final resource location called textures in all caps is equal to a new resource location, reference.monid plus colon textures, GUI, sintering furnace, dot PNG. The PNG is required. This is just telling um, this GUI class where the GUI texture is stored. There is also going to be a private final inventory player called player and private final tile entity sintering furnace called tile entity. We are going to open up our constructor and have those same properties inside of the constructor as well. Inventory player player and tile entity sintering furnace tile entity. And inside of here, we will set those two variables to our um, variables inside of our constructor. So this dot player equals player this dot tile entity equals tile entity and the GUI wants something to super off it supers off of the, con the container so super new container sintering furnace we input player and tile entity into there there are two layers we're gonna have to draw draw container foreground layer and draw container background layer the foreground layer is going to contain our text that we put on top of the background and the background is going to contain our textures as well as the arrows and the fire. So firstly for the foreground layer, string, which I'm going to call tile name, is equal to this dot tile entity dot get display name dot get unformatted text this dot font renderer dot draw string tile name then for the x value open some brackets this dot x size divided by two take away this dot font renderer dot to get string width tile name divided by two and then I found with my GUI I need to add three to this value. So what this is doing here, well firstly we have the actual string it wants to draw. It's then getting the middle of the GUI and it's also getting the middle of the name and then that's where it's going to draw it. But my um, GUI, I need to off it, offset it slightly so I've added three pixels to move it three pixels to the right so it doesn't interfere with my slots. For your GUI, you may want to have this value something different so that it fits in correctly. The Y is going to be a normal value of eight for me. And the color, this is the Minecraft binary value used for all text inside of GUIs, 4210752. And that's what text will be used in all Minecraft GUIs. You can obviously change this color if you want. I've been on, showed you a binary color before and how to get there, you can just type in binary color creator and find that number or you can do it in hexadecimal as well the other string we need to draw is the inventory so this dot font renderer dot draw string this dot player dot get display name dot get unformatted text mine is at a specific location on the x-axis 122 and then for the y-axis it's this dot y size minus 96 plus 2. This may seem like a bit stupid, minus 96 plus 2, as this can be just simplified to minus 94. This is the way that Minecraft does it in the default code, so we leave it like this. And the colour is 4210752. So we are drawing the name of our um, block, which will be Sintering Furnace, and we're going to draw the inventory text. Then for the background layer, we're going to set the background to just be white. So GL state state manager dot color 
spell American way. You want 1.0F, 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 1.0F. This is just a completely white colour. We then do this dot MC, so Minecraft, dot get texture manager, dot bind texture, textures. So it's setting, currently the texture manager is going to want to draw our textures. So we're telling the resource location where the texture is. And we're then going to draw the background. This dot draw textured modal rec. We do this dot GUI left. This dot GUI top. Zero, zero. This dot X size. This dot Y size. We are now going to create two private functions. Private int get burn left scaled int pixels. And this is going to calculate how much burn time is left. So this one is to do with the fire animation. And it's going to calculate how many pixels of the fire animation it should be showing. So int i equals this dot tile entity dot get field one if i equals zero i equals 200 return this dot tile entity dot get field zero multiplied by pixels divided by i and then private int get cook progress scaled int pixels int i is this dot tile entity dot get field two int j equals this dot tile entity dot get field three return j is not equal to zero and i is not equal to zero if this is true we put a question mark i multiplied by pixels divided by j or just zero. If tile entity sintering furnace dot is burning tile entity int k equals this dot get burn left scaled 13 as that's the number of pixels how tall this fire animation is it's 13 as you can see down here this dot draw textured modal rect this dot GUI left plus eight. This dot GUI top plus 54 plus 12 minus K. So these two values, if we hover over draw text and middle rex, is int X and int Y. So where this is stored on here, for me, it's eight pixels in. For me, it's actually nine pixels in, but when I was um, messing around with it, it looked a bit wrong. So I've moved, changed it to 8 pixels in. So what, what you want to originally do is measure how far away this is. Um, but if it if it's obviously off or you think it looks a bit um, weird or incorrect, then obviously adjust the values accordingly. Like this is 9, but I've changed it to 8. And then this is also 55 down, but I've changed it to 54. And 12 minus K is just showing how much of it to draw. Texture X and texture Y is where the texture is stored. 176. This value, um, the y of this is 12 minus k again, as it's select selecting how much of it to draw. Then the width of it is always 14, and the then this height is k plus 1. And then below this, we're going to have int l is this dot get cook progress scaled 24. As on our GUI, this is 24 long, it slightly goes to the right and the left of the bar, as you can see here. 24 long. This dot draw texture modal rect. This dot GUI left plus 44. So for me, it's located it's located 45 inwards, but as I said before, I adjusted a few values, so it's 44 for me. This dot GUI top plus 36. 176 for the texture X, 14, then L plus 1 
as this is going from left to right, and then 16, as it's always a permanent height. And that is the GUI done. We are drawing the text, we are drawing the background image, and we are drawing our animations. For the GUI, we need a GUI handler. So go into our handlers package and create a new class called GUI handler. It implements iGUI handler and has two functions, get server GUI element and get client GUI element for the server. If id is equal to referent.gui sintering furnace return new container sintering furnace put player.inventory and for the tile entity you want brackets tile entity sintering furnace then world.get tile entity new block pos x y and z control shift over to import block pos then copy this into the client, except it returns a new GUI sintering furnace. Control shift to import that. And it takes in the same parameters. Then go into registry handler and inside of init registries, you want network registry dot instance dot register GUI handler main dot instance and new GUI handler. Well, I think we might as well create a tile entity handler as well. Create a function public static void register tile entities. And inside of here, put game registry dot register tile entity, tile entity sintering furnace dot class. And its key will be sintering underscore furnace. And then call this um, in the on block register as the tile entity needs to be registered after the block. If we put it inside of pre init registries, then it will be registered before the block and would crash the game. We need to bring in the GUI texture, putting it in resources, assets HM, textures, and creating a new package called GUI. And I'm going to paste in this texture. So now in my tutorial tab, we have this untextured block here. We place it down and open up the GUI. And we find we have the sintering furnace text, the inventory text, we have two inputs, we have a fuel input, and we have an output here. I need to quickly check what I put for my recipes, and it smelts. The animations move, and we have a coal ore here smelted. We have our animation slowly ticking downwards, we have the arrow that works, and everything is working. Thanks for watching guys, my name's been Harry, and goodbye.